Good afternoon, traders. This is Eli, a senior market strategist with RGO Futures in Chicago. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the gold market. I hope we're having a good day so far. Uh, so f for uh, all other markets right now, with the exception of copper, are trading above uh, the daily pivot number, which is a very important number to watch on a daily basis. For the gold right now is uh, 1303.80. Uh, and for silver, uh, 2068. And I have that for all the metals and all other commodity markets. So if you check with me, uh, I can give you these daily pivot numbers. Uh, they are produced by uh, one of our uh, research team here, High Tower Report. And, and these, uh, re these are released every morning. And uh, if you can contact me, uh, and if you have an account with us, I can make sure that I make those available for you. So watch and notes. Uh, so there's strength coming in from overnight. Uh, you know, the geopolitical tension in Gaza and Ukraine hasn't gone away, and that's going to give a little bit of support. Uh, I think technically, uh, you know, we were in a sort of a uh, pennant type of uh, chart formation and just in the gold market. Uh, we broke through that. It went to 1287.50. But that held, and uh, and uh, the market is now rallied above 1,300 psychological level, which I talked to you about last week, and, and same with uh, with the silver. So, so long as these sort of geopolitical tensions are in place, still uh, Europe is divided with on how to take action uh, against uh, uh, Russia for in not being too aggressive and reigning uh, pro-Russian rebels. Uh, so. There's a lot of uh, factors uh, that's still uh, in play here that keeps uh, the market uh, elevated here. Uh, and I think every break is probably going to be a buying opportunity for a little while. And now um, the commitment to trade for the option report uh, that, that gets released uh, last Friday, the report comes out every Tuesday, uh, the one from, the um, from 8 to the 15th. And uh, the one I was just released on it uh, from the 22nd, the reading from the 22nd. The market is roughly uh, a little bit lower from where that was at. I think there was some over 3,000. I'm just looking at the futures only, not the options, but over 3,000 contract added. Uh, so, you know, overall, there's, there hasn't been a, a huge break one way or the other. I think the market is going to be uh, in, this, in this type of uh, stage uh, for a little bit. And I think there's a great deal of trading opportunity when a market is range bound and you can contact me, I can talk to you about how we can implement strategies around that. So overall, I think we have a pretty much a quiet market for now. This week is packed with uh, economic report, uh, the uh, existing um, uh, home sales uh, that came out this morning uh, as a little bit of support for gold. We've got the GDP and uh, the FOMC this week. So there's going to be a lot of volatility. And gold and crude oil are susceptible to a, any kind of geopolitical tension. So there's going to be a lot of volatility, and there's going to be uh, a lot of volatility it means a lot of trading opportunities. So uh, you can contact me. We can put together some strategies. If you have any questions as well, uh, give me a call. And thank you, and have a great trading. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.